Last month, the United Nations began its first review of global drug policies since 1998 with a preliminary debate in New York. The discussion allowed the world's leaders to showcase their thoughts on global drug policy before the 2016 UN General Assembly on Drugs. In 1998, the UN's stated goal was to have a drug-free world, as impossible as it sounds. But with dozens of US states legalizing cannabis for recreational and medical use, and Uruguay becoming the first country to fully legalize the plant, there's a growing movement to rethink the three international drug control treaties that conflict with these new markets. For example, Mark Golding, Jamaica's Minister of Justice, told UN members that past approaches encapsulated in the notion of a war on drugs have not achieved their objectives, adding that nations should have more autonomy to enact reforms that work best for their populations, especially in relation to cannabis. Additionally, Golding proposed the creation of a committee to explore how best to revise current UN drug treaties. His comments echo the recent plea of a large coalition of more than 100 organizations, including the ACLU and Human Rights Watch. The broad alliance of human rights and health organizations recently released a statement calling on the UN to prioritize human rights, public health, economic development, and access to medicines above enforcement of UN drug treaties that conflict with relaxed cannabis laws in some member states. Officials from other nations also spoke about the failure of the drug war at last month's UN debate including Argentina, Colombia, Ecuador, Guatemala, Mexico, and Uruguay. Even though the UN General Assembly special session on drugs isn't scheduled for another year, there are several UN events planned beforehand to feed into the debates. 